Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our class, Art Appreciation. We are now on the week 5, module 10, under chapter 3, Aesthetics, the, start, the Study of Art and Beauty. And our topic for today is Hierarchy of Beauty. For our learning outcome, we have to measure the arts based on the perception by the senses. Of course, we have the references, the videos to watch, okay, and the resources. The question of whether or not beauty exists in nature is a philosophical problem. In particular, there is the question of whether artworks, persons, or nature has aesthetic qualities. Most people say that they care about their own beauty. Moreover, they judge another person's appearance from an aesthetic point of view using aesthetic concepts. However, aesthetic judgments are not objective in the sense that the experience justifies the, their objectivity. If there are no aesthetic qualities in the world, nobody can judge someone beautiful or ugly without oppression. So again, that's the point. If there are no aesthetic qualities in the world, Nobody can judge someone beautiful or ugly without oppression. Therefore, aesthetic judgment is exercise of power. Okay, so at this point, I want you to read and analyze the fable entitled The Blind Man and the Elephant. This is a Hindu fable, okay? And try to answer the questions... In your own opinion, which among your senses can describe beauty better? Why? Second, what lesson can you relate from your answer from question number one to the poem given? So try to read and analyze, no? try to read and understand uh, the poem or the fable and come up at least a minimum of 50 words for your analysis. Okay, so you can just read this. Okay, and analyze. Okay, let's proceed to our discussion. I have a question. Who among them do you consider beautiful and ugly? I'll be showing you some images, some pictures, and try to answer who among them do you consider beautiful and ugly? Is it Simonetta Vespucci and the Venus paintings by Botticelli? Is it a Samburu woman from Kenya, Africa? Is it a Dalagang Pilipina in Amorsola's painting? Or is it Nikki Zyring, the international model? Okay, so again, we go back to the question, Who among them do you consider beautiful and ugly? Based on these images. How about these images? Who among them do you consider beautiful or ugly? Is it a painting of Leonardo da Vinci, the grotesque face? Or is it Tom Cruise, the Hollywood actor? The self-portrait of Durer in 1500? Or is it the self-portrait of Van Gogh in 1886? All right, notice, notice that they already have the self-portrait. And self-portrait is also a what we call selfie. Okay? So, bago pa man nauso sa atin yung mga selfie-selfie na yan, no? They already had selfie because of the self-portrait. Okay? But then again, we go back to the question, who among them do you consider beautiful and ugly based on these images? According to art critics, there are 14 degrees of aesthetic values. Okay, and they are categorized under beauty and ugly. 1 to 7 categorize or falls under the category of beauty. We have sublime, it purely delights. Grand, it delights and it awes. 
elegant. It delights and impresses. You say charming. It delights and attracts. Comic. It delights and in it, it entertains. Tragic. It delights and saddens. Terrible. It delights and fears. So, those are the categories under beauty. Or it falls under the category of beauty. From number 8 to 14, from number 8 to 14, it, they fall under the category of ugly. It's scary, it's scary, it glooms and fears. Horrible, it glooms and saddens. Bizarre, it glooms and it entertains. Let's say poignant, it glooms and attracts. Perverse, it glooms and impresses. Rustic, it glooms and awes. And pathetic, it purely glooms. Okay, so those are the 14 degrees of aesthetic values according to the art critics. So the following are the images or the paintings by different artists and we have to analyze based on based on uh, their aesthetic values. Okay, so let's begin. Here is the painting of Munch, the scream. Okay, so it's very self-explanatory. So when we say or when we see the image, it is definitely scary. It glooms and it fears. So where does it fall? It falls under the category of ugly. Number eight is scary. It glooms and it fears. Okay, next. This is the painting of Larry Alcala, and he entitled this painting Splice of Life. So it falls under the category of the category of beauty, comic. Okay, comic, it delights and it entertains. Okay. So I want you to to watch okay, I want you to watch an excerpt or a comic by Charlie Chaplin, The Tramp. He entitled his uh, video, The Tramp. So it falls under the category of beauty because it is or it entertains, okay? Because it delights and it entertains. Next, we have the painting of Soutain, the carcass of beef, okay? So it is bizarre, it blooms, and it entertains. Okay, so where does it fall? It falls under the category of, of bizarre falls under the category of ugly. Okay, it blooms and it entertains. Okay. How about here? Also, the painting of Soutain, the Mad Woman. Okay. For me, it falls under the category of bizarre. It glooms and it entertains. Okay. So, again, I, 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 we can categorize it under, under um, ugly. Okay. Also, Soutain, the Woman in Red. For me... It is bizarre. It glooms and it entertains. So still, it falls under the category of ugly. Okay, this is um, the painting or uh, the art of Damien Hurst. This is an installation art. Okay. And for me, it falls under the category of ugly because it is scary it looms and it fears okay also damien hurst he entitled this god alone knows in 2007 for me it is rustic because it looms and us rustic falls under the category of ugly how about this one? Kalo. K 
okay the painting of Kahlo he entitled it my birth in 1932 for me it falls under the category of um, uh, ugly because it is horrible okay because it is horrible it looms and it saddens no para siyang parang yung bata ay no para ang bata ay parang dying no parang dying yung bata okay tapos yung nanay ay nakatakip no nakatakip yung kanyang yung kanyang mukha so parang ayun niya makita yung kanyang anak no so it, it glooms and saddens it is horrible okay i mean that is my interpret interpretation you can have your own interpretation based on this image or based on this painting okay here jericho okay the painting of jericho he entitled this painting after death okay in 1721 it is rustic it looms and it us so it falls under the category of ugly Okay, let's take a look at the painting of Bernini. No, she he entitled it as Ecstasy of Saint Therese in 1592. Okay, it says here sublime, it purely delights. So this is Saint Therese. Okay, this is Saint Therese. She is actually praying. Okay, Saint Therese is praying. But you know what? Um you see the face okay you see the face of saint therese para siyang naka high okay para siyang naka high sa droga high sa droga diba that's why it is ecstasy the ecstasy of saint therese that every time she prays she is on ecstasy so ano yung point ng painting parang we are reminded all right we are reminded that every time we pray to the lord we should be on ecstasy we should be high para tayong nakadroga pag tayo ay nagdarasal like saint therese she is on ecstasy so where does it fall it falls under the category of beauty because it is sublime it purely delights Okay, so at this point, I want you to watch another video. This is a comic version. Okay. This is a comic version of uh, The Choral by Beethoven, Ode to Joy from the Ninth Symphony, performed by choir and the orchestra of 10,000 members in Osaka, Japan during 2014. Okay. But then, ginawa nilang katatawanan, no? Ginawa nila katatawanan. Um, okay, so you can watch it by yourself, or you can download it by in, in YouTube. Okay. All right. So if it is a comic, then it falls under the category of beauty. So let's have an activity. What degree of aesthetic values are the paintings of Sotain, Hearst, and Kahlo? Okay, try to analyze. Okay, try to analyze and answer this question. And can you get beauty out of those paintings? Why? So try to come up at least a minimum of 50 words. And for your assessment, what value or what values of beauty did you discover from the lesson? And how can that value or how can that values help you become a better individual? So again, please try to come up at least a minimum of 50 words. And for your reflection, what significant lesson did you find it personal? 
And in what part of the lesson did you find easy or hard to illustrate in the way that you learned? And why? So that ends my presentation for today. Okay, on the topic, on the topic, the hierarchy of beauty. Well, again, thank you so much for listening. And you do have a great day. Goodbye, everyone.